All right, hey guys, so I hope you're enjoying these videos so far. Um, I'm having a lot of fun sharing kind of like what I do. It's just my opinions and what have worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. Some tips and tricks and just different things that might um, give you some new ideas. Some of the stuff you might already know, some things you might not know or it will kind of, you know, make you think about things in a different way. So um, leave some comments, let me know what you're thinking, any questions you might have, um, what has helped or hasn't helped you with what my videos are doing. Um, I love reading them and replying to your uh, comments. So, or email, you can always email me adrenalinefit at gmail.com. Okay, so today's video, I want to talk about getting new clients. Now, this is something I love. I have fun with it. It's like a challenge to me, getting out there, trying to find new people. Um, the best thing I could tell you is just live it, okay? Everything you do, you're always thinking about your business. You don't wanna be salesy in, in that sense that I'm saying, but like, it's always there, okay? So when someone calls me, cold calls me to sell me something on my phone at dinner time or after dinner, whatever it is, I sell them on my stuff also. Not if they're like in India or like somewhere like far, but if it's like a local person calling me about their business, I ha listen to what they have to say and then I sell them on my stuff. So that's what I'm saying, like you're always talking about it. When you go to the hair salon, when you go to the corner store, um, I run some stroller fit classes. If I'm in the park or something and I see some strollers coming by, I'll stop and say, hey guys, I run this stroller fit class, you should come try it. You can't be afraid to go out and approach people, all right? Um, constantly bringing it up whenever you can and then not in a way that that people are gonna be like oh like you know she's selling me this that but in a way that you actually care which I do so I'll go up to people and talk to them about whatever and it, it just happens to always come up um, I used to like try and make it come up in combo now because it's my life and I love what I do my training always comes up my classes always come up um, especially if I know the person needs it so another good thing to do is get into schools all right donate some time at some schools maybe it's doing some kind of cool like exercise with an old age home anywhere you can kind of go and volunteer um, and donate your time is a great thing to do okay especially the schools these kids are our future so they might be in grade 8 or they might be in grade 10 or 12 well guess what next year or in another year or two from now they, they're not gonna keep the body that they have then so they're gonna start thinking oh shoot I got to get into something what do I know of Oh, that girl came and saw me in high school and she rocked and um, she really hit home for me and made me think about things in a new way I'm gonna check her out so getting into schools is something I've done for 10 years I always go to schools I try and do at least a couple a month uh, some give you like money anyways because they have a budget for it if they don't use it it's wasted but um, a lot of the time I'll just go in and donate some time I do a lot of warm-ups for races so I find you know what races are going on in my town and then I'll contact the people running the races and I'll say hey do you want me to host the warm-up and it's a free thing but it takes three to five minutes you go you introduce yourself you maybe wear your t-shirt or your hat and you do the warm-up with the with the group to get them all wild up gotta be you know fun let them know who you are where you're from and um, you can even go as far as asking the owners of the race if you could put your uh, card or some kind of postcard, business card in the take home baggies from the races. Go to your city sites and find out what events are going on that year. So you can kind of, these people plan months in advance. So send them e the emails months in advance. Another way I market is Instagram. If you don't have Instagram yet and you run a fitness class boot camp of your own or you're a trainer at a gym and the more clients you have, the better. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Take a picture every day. It should be a goal every day to take a picture of your class or someone in your class or you doing something fitness related. Anything, Instagram is hot, hot, hot right now. And the kids and teens right now, they aren't on Facebook anymore. They're saying, oh, it's for old people. I thought that was crazy when I heard that, but we have a lot of teens that hang out at our surf shop all summer. And uh, no, Facebook's for old people. I don't use that. Everyone's on Instagram or this chat thing. Snapchat, I think it's called. I haven't checked that out yet, but I'm going to. But Instagram is big and make sure you're hashtagging things. So hashtag Windsor Fitness or whatever city you're in. Hashtag uh, group training. Like those hashtags might seem silly, but it's a way to categorize what your picture is. And then people want to search things up. They'll look, you know, like your city's training or say, for instance, someone's from Windsor and they want to find Windsor Fitness. Boom, they find my stuff. 
So hashtagging on Instagram is very, very important. And Facebook still is a very good tool. I use it every day. I make it a point to every day do a post about my class that day. Um, I take tons of pictures in my classes every single day. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Put them on Facebook, share them. Make sure your class is okay with you taking pictures. Um, most of mine are used to it now, but when I have new people, I say, you know, if you don't want me taking your picture, let me know, because some don't want to be involved in all that, which is fine. But I think I've had maybe one. It was because she called in sick and she was supposed to be at work. <laughs> so pictures are excellent. Facebook and Instagram tagging people in the pictures and their friends see them. And most people are proud to show like, yeah, that was me doing those push-ups. And you want to put good pictures. Don't pick like nasty pictures or where people have bad form because it's going to happen. I mean, most of my clients do very, are very well with their form and whatnot, but there's the odd bad form. And if that's in a picture, don't be posting that. One, it makes you look like a crappy trainer because there you got someone like squatting in a hunch. And two, um, it makes the person look bad. No one wants to look bad in these pictures. So the bad pictures, delete them off your phone, get rid of them, put the good photos. Make sure you capture those good photos, those cool photos. They're doing cool poses, they're holding, they're flexing, they're sweating, they're crying, okay? Pictures are very important. Videos, little quick 15 minute Instagram videos, or you can make longer videos. I use a Mac computer and I have um, iMovie, which is super easy. It took me like, a day or two to kind of master and I make all my videos on iMovie super easy I got a great camera I record with this is it here the Canon HD right now I'm just talking with the camera that comes out of my computer but for classes and stuff I use this and I got this little tool to attach which is kind of cool because I can get in there like this Woo! so um, and then the iPhone the, I got a newer iPhone not the 6 but this takes excellent video and photo so um, Videos, pictures are huge. I get most of my new people through social media. So by them seeing their friends doing something um, in a video and saying, hey, I wanna join that. Um, so, and a tool I use online, it's called iPicky, I-P-I-C-C-Y dot com. iPicky is a great photo editor. Oh, Rambo, Rambo wants to say hi. <laughs> oh, little boy. Um, so I, sorry. <laughs> iPicky is an excellent tool. I make all my pictures on there. So I take a picture, say like for my picture for this video, I'm gonna screenshot this where, you know, I'll try and pick one where I'm looking kind of not like all weird and you know, saying something. So you can capture a picture, then you upload it to the website, which is very easy to do. And then you can use different fonts and colors and all sorts of cool stuff, effects to make your pictures, okay? And then I'll put, I'll make those all the time. And I'll say like, um, you know, you know, class tonight, check it out, you know, this time, be there, be square, okay? I'll show you an example right now. Here, check this one out. Okay, so you can see how I do that. Bright colors, titles, and then people see it. Yeah, so then people see it and then they're excited. And if they, even if they're regular class members, but they weren't like really feeling it that day, but they're at work and they're like sc scrolling through Instagram or Facebook and they're like, oh, there's her picture. Oh, I gotta go, there's a sign. So then they come, I hear that all the time. I wasn't gonna come, but I saw your picture and I was like motivated me and now I'm here. So those work. So social media, huge. Um, and this is all free stuff. It doesn't cost to be on there, right? Cause you know, I've done the newspaper ads and like different stuff and it's a lot, 400, $500 for like a business card ad in the newspaper. And who's to say they're gonna see it? It's not as effective, okay? So these are all free things, Instagram, Facebook, um, and then whatnot. And then you want a website. Eventually you want a website. I went run out and get something or pay to have one made. My very first site I just did myself. There's sites out there, just Google free website maker or this or that. And there's all sorts of stuff and it's kind of fun. And you know, if you have a logo used, if you don't yet, then just kind of work with what you have. But if you're new to it, you don't want to dump a bunch of money into it. Start with a basic site and you don't want to get too crazy with pictures and stuff. I've done that in the past. I'll get into a video about websites down the road, but for now, all I can say is if you want, if you put too much onto your website, it takes way too long to load. And if you have a new client looking into like training with you and then they're like, you know, checking out your website and it's taking forever to load because the photos are slowing it down, they're gonna be like, click, click, forget it, this thing's too slow. And they're gonna go back and check out the next list of fitness cl classes in their city. So website's so important. If your website's slow, it's not loading well, or it's hard to find, your, your class schedule and this and that, people get, you know, you know when you go on a website and you're having a hard time finding what you want, you'll just exit and look at another one, 
okay, and go to the next one. So website's huge, we'll talk about that in another video. I might even have my husband Chris help me with this video because he makes all my websites and he's very good and can give you guys lots of good tips. Um, okay, so marketing your classes is very important. Every day something out into the social media world and then posters, uh, postcards. I get under the windshields of the cars that park at the center that I'm at. See, I. I do my classes at the WFCU Center. It is, they have hockey arenas there, about four or five hockey uh, rinks. So there's hockey going on there every night. So there's that means there's hockey moms and hockey dads hanging out at that site while the kids are at practice and they're like bored. When they could drop the kids off for that, you know, come over and do my class in the gym next door in the same building and then go back. So if yours happens to be at a place where there's other stuff going on, gymnastics, all sorts of kids stuff, that means that the parents are around. And that means that there's lots of cars in the lot waiting for something to be put under the windshield. And that also is fairly free. You just gotta pay to print the papers off. So find, make yourself a cool poster, something that's not gonna make them be like, oh, this is junk. Something that's gonna stand out like, hey, you know, free week of training, come and try it right here at the WFC or right at your center, okay? Getting under those windshields, yeah, it's a bit of work, okay? But if you're not ready to put that work in, you're not gonna get people. You gotta put the work in, you can't just, think people are going to show up or oh people will write me there's no one in my classes and I'll ask have you done this or this or this and they're like no no I haven't tried that yet well try it you have to try everything um, putting posters up at grocery stores doing you know putting postcards out, out at the gas station um, going to different like restaurants and stuff that's around and saying hey I want to offer your clients only this deal and you go on Vistaprint that's like a printing thing online that I use I don't know if it's worldwide I think like Canada at least might be states too I'm not sure but Vistaprint rocks you can get like stuff printed there for like next to nothing half the time you're just paying for the shipping all right so print stuff off try it uh, some of my first flyers and cards, I look back now and I was like, oh my gosh, these are awful. But nowadays, like I've gotten better and ba better at it. I know what works, I know what don't. And um, that's what you gotta do. I'll share some of mine with you in another video. We'll talk postcards and like making all that. But uh, for now, try that stuff out, okay? Get out there, put the paperwork out, go to the mall, stand, like just do different things, put things wherever you can. Even if you get one person out of putting that stuff out that day, that person tells someone and then that one tells someone, you know what, because if you're training them really good and you're giving them those results they want, you're making them feel good, then they're gonna spread the word to everybody. So once you get them in, then you have to keep them. Okay, so we'll talk about retaining your clients in another video. Even if you're new to this, invest in some business cards because that's very easy. Go on like the Vistaprint, make yourself a little business cards, always have them in your purse, your pocket, put them in your car. I, put, I, I get mine in the mail and I just take stack, 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 some in this purse, some in that purse, some in this coat, some in that, in the car, in the truck. And then anywhere I am, I always have them and you just spread them out like crazy. They shouldn't be sitting there not being used, all right? Okay, have a great day. Hope this helps you guys out and um, I hope to hear from some of you. Let me know what you're thinking. Okay, see you guys, have a good day. Mm -hmm.